So I have bought a lot of cars, but my worst financial investment is by far not any of these cars in the garage, but this battery right over here. And by this battery, I mean my Tesla Model S Plaid. Now I bought this car two years ago now, or about a year and a half ago, and I have lost so much money on this car, more than any other supercar that I own. Let me explain why. So this car is on upgraded signature Tesla wheels. It is lowered here. It is completely blacked out. It is extremely, extremely fast. We'll cut to a clip of that. Oh! Now everything like Tesla is completely automatic in this car, which I absolutely love. You have a lot of trunk space here. You also have under trunk space and even more storage here on the sides way back in there. So there's plenty of storage, it's extremely fast, it's a great five person car, but there are definitely some downsides. So one big issue is the build quality here. On the steering wheel, my steering wheel has been peeling and Tesla says that they don't have a fix for it right now because it's just gonna happen again. They're bringing a new steering wheel in a couple months. So I'm gonna have to deal with this for a couple months. Not to mention everything in this car is just really, really rickety here. Now this car has plenty of strange and weird panel gaps all over here, but that is just a normal Tesla thing to complain about. One of my favorite things to complain about on this Tesla here is actually in the trunk where you can completely just remove this. That's great. So I was hesitant to complain about this or put it in the video because I believe this error is my fault because I have this car on lowering length, so it sits lower, but I had the biggest issue where my tires would go out every thousand miles. The inside would rub or the outside would rub on literally all four different tires and it would rub so bad that it would go down to the wires and I would completely lose all air in my tires. I had to get new tires every single month, which was like $1,000. So this car was extremely expensive for a while. I got the alignment refixed, and now you can see even after 3,000 miles, my tires are holding up much better like they should after 3,000 miles. So let me stop complaining about the car for just a second. I do absolutely love how sleek the car looks. I love that it's completely blacked out. It is super tinted, it's super fast, it's super quiet. It is the ultimate stealth mobile. You're faster than any car on the road here, and not to mention this, and the handles coming out is super cool. And we have the yoke steering wheel, which is such a cool feature. And yes, it was annoying at first, but I've grown to absolutely love it here. And in the back seats, there's plenty of room for your friends. They're heated and cooled here, and there's even a rear touchscreen for them to adjust whatever they want. So I am a 6'2 big male, and I also drive with the seat very far back here, and I'm even comfortable right here in the back. So let's talk about driving experience here for a second. The yoke steering wheel, like I said, I absolutely love. And this car is just silent, quick, agile, and very, very fast. Three, two. Ooh! Very, very, very fast. So it's agile, I can put the car wherever I want, whenever I want on the road, which is super convenient and honestly, very safe. Now sometimes, very rarely, will I reach for the top for the yoke steering wheel, but you do get used to it after a while. So let's talk about financials here. I bought this 2016 Porsche GT3 RS two years ago for $212,000. Now if I wanted to sell it today, I've taken the car from 4,000 miles to 10,000 miles. I could still sell this car for roughly over $200,000. So maybe I lose a few thousand dollars here and there. Plus maintenance is quite minimal to be honest. I do oil changes when I need to. I replace tires when I need to. It's not too bad. I would maybe budget $5,000 a year for maintenance on this car. We can talk about the McLaren 620R here that I have up on the lift. I bought this car for $300,000 three years ago, and I could sell it for probably between $285,000 and up to $300,000 if I found a buyer that really wants a 620R. Because they're so rare, that also helps me a little bit. Now this car, everyone complains about McLaren maintenance. It's so bad, it's so bad. It's really not that bad. I had a few issues, but only issues that I I have created because I've modified the car. Now I would budget, if you if you leave this car stock, I would budget between three to $5,000 a year, and that's a very conservative estimate for maintenance 
on this car. But now coming over to this car, the Tesla Model S Plaid or the battery as I like to call it. I bought this car a year and a half ago for $125,000 and now I bought it slightly used. I bought it from Hype House owner Thomas Petro, if you guys know. He had some slight issues with it, but he got them all fixed and it's been good ever since. But that's why I got a slight discount for $125,000. The cars were going for around $130,000 to $135,000 when I bought the car. Now, this car after I put it went from 4,000 miles to 20,000 miles. So I've driven this car a lot. I drive this car the most out of any car, but this car is now worth $65,000. Yes, that's right. The car has lost nearly 50% of its value just in a year and a half. Now Teslas have some of the worst depreciation out of any car I have ever seen because they keep upgrading it. Elon keeps bringing the prices down. It's just a complete disaster with the price. I definitely, I know I will never buy a Tesla brand new again. I worry about that with the Cybertruck. They're going for upwards of even $300,000. I think those cars could be worth $70,000 in just a few years. So are you better off spending more money and buying something like a GT3? RS like a McLaren maybe it really depends but I definitely would not buy a Tesla new you're gonna lose so much money on the depreciation if you go with Porsche if you go with a 911 they don't really lose their value I'd much recommend going with a 911 if you have that kind of budget you can get something like that save some money and don't get yourself in this plaid it's a great daily it's super convenient no gas it's really fast there are a lot of benefits like I talked about earlier but I've lost so much value on this car. So if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can buy my Tesla Plaid for $125,000 and I'll be a super happy camper or just go get a used one for $65,000. And by the way, this car for 65K is a great deal and a great car, FYI. Or you can go get a GT3 RS, a GT3 if you got the budget for that and you're likely not gonna lose a lot of money. Or you can go with one of my favorite cars here, a Miata. A great vehicle, $5,000, runs forever, and seriously, some of the most fun I've ever had in a car before. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something and learned maybe you shouldn't go get a new Tesla. Maybe you should buy something used and just be smart with your financial investments and learn from my mistakes. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram at Cam Casey, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Bye.